Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com, the largest search engine for wristwatches and official retailers on the net. And what you see behind me is Longin. And I want to invite you to come with me to see some of the novelties of Longin. And what you see first and what we're going to show you is a very, very smart interpretation of a GMT watch they did here. Come and follow me. So guys, we have been talking a lot about GMTs already here in Basel World, and this is a new, let's say the 2018 version of a GMT in terms of technology. Uh, we had Longin Xavier is with me. He's one of the engineers, one of the product guys behind the watch. Um, the watch is a quartz watch, very high precision VHP, correct? Correct. And uh, so what's special? You can change the time zones or the zone time by analog way as Walter von Kennel would do it by mm. pressing and pulling out the crown, pressing the button. Exactly. Or if you want by your smartphone. Yes, exactly. Okay. We develop so a, sp a special app just for the for the for this function, yes. Uh, can you quickly show it in the old fashioned way, old school? Yes. <laughs> so as explained by Alexander, this is a, a GMT, so we have three hands indicating the hour for the home time. And then we have this fourth hand here indicating a second time zone. So actually it's uh, eight hours uh, in the afternoon and here in Switzerland we, we are for uh, two in the afternoon. So first of all, with my, with my crown here, pressing once, it will show me on the, on the dial. You can see perfectly here the small house and here on the right, the small plane. So pressing on the crown once, it will show me on which time zone I am. So just press once and the small second goes to the home time okay so it confirmed that i am actually uh, on home time if i want to change my uh, travel time i will have to press press twice quickly one two so the small second goes to the travel time to the plane and you can see the the the, the ends swapping so now it's eight past 25 and here in switzerland in, on the second time zone it's Two past twenty-five. So it would be Hong Kong. Six hours it could be Hong Kong, for instance. Correct. Instant. Exactly. Yeah. It's two o'clock in Switzerland, Basel, Basel, and Hong Kong. It's eight in the evening. Exactly. So right now, if I remove the crown, take it out, I will change my travel zone, travel time. And the good thing with our smart crown te uh, technology is that I can make jumps of one hour without losing the small second. So it's a full functional GMT, that's what exactly. I'm explaining all the time. So if you lose time, especially in such a piece, very high precision, exactly. I think it's five seconds a year. Sa five seconds a year. So, so the whole concept is based yeah. on yeah. that. Uh, Imagine guys, if you would lose time, the watch would make no sense at all. Yeah. So now I can confirm the change I've done. That's it. So, and now see if I, I would like to come back to my home time, I just press twice again. One, two, and I just come back to home time. Fantastic. So this was the analog way of setting that uh, very high precision Longin watch uh, to the second uh, zone time or travel time. And uh, there is also a smart way of doing it. And the interesting thing here is that Longin found a pretty particular way of doing it. So the smartphone will, will communicate with the watch, but not by Bluetooth, not by wireless LAN, not by any other uh, whatever, hidden or unknown source, it will use the flash. Exactly, through the light. Through the light. So at the one of the figure 12, there is a small uh, hole. Yes. And there is a sensor underneath and the sensor will detect what the smartphone will send information to the watch. Exactly. So we are, I want to see that now. So it's, <laughs> a, it's, it's a, a, go for it. It's <laughs> a photo detector. So here I have the very simple application that we develop for Basel Fair and I will send information. So we have uh, home time on the left, which is Zurich, Europe, and then travel time, New York. So I'm going to send the information, the send travel time through the app, uh, through the flash to the watch. So I just I need will hold the watch and yeah. you will send the information. So, so I just the flash will now start flashing. Exactly. And the detector will detect it. Detect it. Yeah. Let's go. So I will, I'm going to just prepare the watch to be in a photo detector mode. So one, two, long press and all the ends will go to a place to avoid to obstruct the, the, the hold from the light. So now I just have to put the, the, the phone above and send the information. You see it flashing? 
Morse code. Okay, we so got the an answer from the watch. The answer from the watch confirming that it received, she, it received the information. So now it's, I'm done, so I just have to validate this information and I can see that my second time zone right now is 8 past 20, uh, 35, so New York time. Six hours difference. By sending it by kind of, what is it, a Morse code or what are exactly. you... Exactly, it's a binary code yeah. and uh, yeah, it's Morse. Yeah, very cool. So this is really cool. No, there is no uh, risk of, of losing any battery due to Bluetooth, nothing. Exactly. You and, activate and it, you deactivate it. And the, the most important part is also the, 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 this concept of, of precision, very high precision. Without removing the crown, we, we avoid the risk of losing, or losing time. Thank you very much, Xavier. Thank you. Thank you. The new Longines GMT, very high precision. So guys, thanks for watching. This was the presentation of that smart GMT in the very high precision Longines collection. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our videos. Thank you very much.